While Americans are embracing this summer as a return to normal, health officials are warning the pandemic isn't over yet. Doctors are keeping a close eye on a new variant of the virus that is spreading rapidly in the United States. Christina Coleman has that story. As vaccination rates go up, cities and states have been relaxing those COVID-related restrictions. But in L.A. County, they're now asking people to mask up for a little bit longer out of concern for the Delta variant, a new, more contagious strain of the virus. If we can keep these on just for a little while to make sure everybody protected, why not? The new mutation now accounts for more than 20 percent of all cases in the United States. It's expected to become the dominant strain in the near future. There is some good news. Lab studies show both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are nearly as effective against the Delta variant as they are against the original strain. The White House has set a goal to get 70 percent of the country vaccinated by July 4th. But right now, fewer than half of all Americans have gotten their shot. The First Lady has been on a public awareness campaign to way those still on the fence visiting states where many are still hesitant to get the vaccine. I think 40 percent of all Texans are vaccinated. We care about the American people, but about their health. So that's why I'm here. Though the White House will likely fall short of that July 4th goal, Dr. Fauci has said he thinks it's attainable by mid-July. The CDC says young people are among the groups right now with the lowest vaccination rates. An historic heat wave continues to spread misery across the nation. In Washington state and north of the border, the temperatures have seen triple digit highs for days. And on the East Coast, officials are telling people to watch out for signs of heat stroke. Stephanie Gosk is in New York City, where the Big Apple is baking. It is gearing up to be the hottest day of the week here in New York City. Now officially the second heat wave in New York this year before July. People here are roasting the numbers of people out exercising, thinning out here in Central Park. Here are some of the numbers we've been looking at. 46 million people under heat advisories in the Northeast in 11 states. In Boston on Tuesday, they hit a record high of 99. That's the highest temperature in the month of June in Boston in nearly 70 years, set back in 1952. The other big number is actually out in British Columbia and Canada. A town there, Lighton, set a record three days in a row, a national temperature record, hitting 121 in Lighton, Canada yesterday. That was the same temperature it was in Death Valley. All of this heat, whether it's the Pacific Northwest or here on the East Coast, is maxing out facilities. A lot of places still trying to deal with COVID and vaccinations. Like here in New York, they've been opening up cooling centers, but a lot of the places that they use for cooling centers, libraries and schools, are being used for vaccination. 